one of those people that can be inspired by something and be like, oh, well, that was inspiring, thanks. And then, like, just move on with, with it, like, you know, under my arm, like, running down the field. Today we're going to discuss my new book, Steal Like an Artist. <laughs> nah, but for real, today we're going to discuss why you need to steal like Drake and any other great artist that's ever existed. Too much emphasis is put on originality. Feel free to take ideas and update them at your will. All great artists take and update. See, even Kanye believes you should steal from other artists. I mean, he took this quote from Pablo Picasso, good artist copy, great artist steal. And I know what you're thinking, these are two different quotes, but this is the perfect example of good theft. And yes, there is such a thing as good theft. Watch the rest of this Drake clip so you can understand. Uh, like even the definition of appropriating a culture is, is not supporting that culture, doing songs with people who are deeply rooted in that culture, giving opportunity to people who are in that culture. That's not appropriating. Appropriating is taking it for your own personal gain and denying that that it was ever inspired from this. As Drake said, you need to honor and understand this culture that inspired you in any way you can. For Drake, it's giving opportunities and giving them credit for what they've created. But you also need to add your own value to it to make it your own. This is all good theft. On the other hand, bad theft would be like he said, not giving them credit and denying they even inspired you, which is plagiarism, imitation, and a ripoff. Bad theft is basically copying one for one and not giving them credit. So now that you have a better understanding of good theft versus bad theft, I'm gonna give you two reasons why you need to steal like an artist. Reason number one, you have to understand that nothing is original. As the book said, everything is just built upon ideas from the past. So basically everything is a remix. Just like that Kanye tweet said, too much emphasis is put on originality. Feel free to take ideas and update them at your will. What he's saying is to embrace influence. Why do you think Kanye is considered a creative genius? Because he's not scared to take influence from many different things, bring them back, mix them, and make them his own. For example, a lot of his beats are just chopped up samples from decades ago. So when you allow yourself to embrace influence, you take a lot of pressure off of yourself to make something original. You need to allow yourself to take influence from everyone and everything. This makes your creative process a lot easier when you have so much inspiration to take from anywhere that you're able to make more art and make it faster. So embrace influence, don't run from it. All right, the second reason you need to steal from others is because it'll help you develop your own style. And dare I say, original style. Like Steve Jobs said, creativity is just connecting things. Taking inspiration from one source and mixing it with other sources, like this water and lemonade, will help you develop your own style. And the key is to take from multiple sources, not just one, because that's plagiarism. We already discussed that that's bad theft. But sometimes it's not just taking two different styles and mixing them. Sometimes you could take the emotions from one thing, the message from another, and then mix your experience with the two of those things to make something unique to you. And that's what the majority of people think is originality when a true artist understands that creativity is just mixing things. So keep being inspired from many different sources, keep mixing those things, and keep developing that sound that's gonna separate you from everyone else. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.